guy is. Power Robert and Jay. speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Lindor on to first. Two away here in the top of the first. Juan Soto, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. And it's one and one. Chris, Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time. Of course, helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019, and he won the batting title, hit 351 in that short in 2020 season. That's towards center. Hunter makes the catch in and over. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder, Ricky Henderson. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Next one misses. And now it's even one and one. Between his size and his fastball, Bob Gibson probably was considered one of the most intimidating pitchers of all time. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Yeah, just his demeanor out there on the mound. Uh, it was all business and didn't talk, fraternize with the other team no, and is ready to take care of business, do his job every day he was on the mound. Right side. Trout settles under it. Makes the catch. One down. That is second. The designated hitter. Whoa. Lou Gehrig now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Next pitch has popped up. Machado calls it in two away. Now it's Matt Chapman. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a miss and 102 on the radar gun. Swings and misses struck him out. All set for the start of the inning. And now batting Mike Trout. Steele back to work. That misses and it's one to know. Mike Trout just a special player, a special human. Does everything well on the baseball field and seems to do it as well off the field. 2-0. 2 and 0 to Cal. Here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Hunter going back. Back some more. Banks off the wall. Lindor with a relay throw. Save. He comes all the way around for an inside the park home run. Now here is Chase Utley. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And ball one. To third, Chapman. Fires across the diamond. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One down, base is empty. That one oh. missed. One and two. The pitch. In the air, right field. Trout is there. Makes the grab. And there's two down. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Posada. A switch hitter batting right. And that one is lifted in the air. Trout settles under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll end the end. 
Back here in Fenway. Now it's going to be Munitaka Murakami. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's the strike. Swings through that. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Got it by him for the K. Pretty impressive lineup. Mike Trout hitting this far down to the order. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. You know, singing in 2022, Trout hit homers in seven straight games, falling just one home run shy of the record, eight in a row by Ken Griffey Jr., Don Mattingly, and Dale Long. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. So two down now, and here is Jonah Heim. That's a laser base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Pitch misses. Ball one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Francisco Lindor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Lindor goes five feet, 11 inches, 29 years old. Usually a shortstop, but today he's starting at second base. Good hitters count the 2 0. And a foul ball. Well, the one thing he'll find is that a lot of the time the play is to your back. You're moving to your right. You've got to throw back to first base. That's the difference between short. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Pulls it in, and there's two away. That one fouled off. Next pitch misses. One and one. One and one. There's the swing and a miss. One and two. Swings and misses. Back here at Fenway. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Gibson back to work. Just missed. Well, these guys definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. In for a strike, and the count is two and two. Not sure. has it fires the first gets him one away on a drop third strike just not a good pitch to swing at one reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump in the air fairly deep to right field out number two back to the top of the lineup stepping in the long ball threat Ricky Henderson and that is cut on and missed it's 0-1 Righty delivers. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, now the number two hitter, Julio Rodriguez. And here it comes. This is inside. One and oh. Next offering is fouled back. Here's a 1-1. And another Come ball. On. Sure. Swings and misses. Go, go. Two and two now. That 
the belt and fires. That misses the zone, and now it's three and two. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover makes the play. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he could have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Fastball pretty much middle, middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. Trout stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. That's out to center field. Hunter has it sized up. And he makes the catch. That's out number two. Now it's the power the speed back. combo. Double Chase speed. Utley. He's over one. Utley. High fly ball out of the left center field. And Ricky Henderson the grab. True. Back here at Fenway Park, here's some real power at the plate. Lou Gehrig. That one finds the corner, and it's 0-1. Ball one there. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Pumping serious gas at 102 on that one. Here's Matt Chapman. They say it went. Going one. And he swings and lifts one to deep Please. center field. That's back there. Please. Bangs oh, off the oh, wall. Man, and the tying <laughs> runs at second base with a shit. double. Hit the wall. Everything came together for him. Put a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Chapman up to third on the wild pitch. And he deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Swing and a miss. Huge yeah, strikeout there. Out. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Swing and a miss. Uh, one one. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to oh, throw him do. anything off speed right here. Yeah, there's some shit at that after that. The 0 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the third baseman, Manny oh, Machado. God. Here comes a pitch. And Manny gets a piece. Chris Machado is a guy who impacts the game with his bat. He's got big time power, but oh, what about yeah, defense? And, uh, he hasn't only won so a gold nice. glove, multiple That's gold gloves, but he's yeah, also won a platinum glove as the best defender in any position oh, in his I league. Get a two run shot and like the eight. One and two. The fucking take the one, two. I beat him. I was like, damn, bro. Popped up. <laughs> message to him, he's like, I know. Marte makes the <laughs> grab one down. <laughs> I was like, dude, it was crazy. Like, I thought he was going to win that game. Like, I, that's the way it was going. Every time I came close, he would just score. This one popped up win. right side. And I was just like, great effort saying, as like, he's able to haul it in. Two down. down. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. It's one nothing, and it's because I. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte brings it in with a knock. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. There's a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your yeah. first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this off. No, Misses off. off the play. One ball, one strike. That one missing inside. Two balls, one strike. 
Swing and a miss. Oh, and the count is even, two and two. The wind and the pitch. Got him looking. And one gone. And now the center fielder, Tory Hunter. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So far, this guy's been able to tease the strike, so it gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. They say you win. I need to go. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Lindor in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is fouled back. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Started after it. Appeal to third. Nope, he held back. The next oh. offering misses, and it's two and two. Swings through it, and that's a... All set for the top of the sixth. Top Stepping the sixth. in is the switch hitting shortstop, Ozzie Smith. Yeah. And first offering is fouled off. There are hitters you love to watch hit, pitchers you love to watch pitch, but with Ozzie Smith, he was a player you love to watch field his position, a shortstop virtuoso. Gonna count one and two. The great thing about Ozzy in the field was that he could make any play he needed to. Diving stops, jump throws, cross body throws. Chapman over to first in time. One up, one down. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. The lefty the one-on. -oh. That one ripped right center field. That's back. That one is gone. He circles the bases, and they add a run. It's 2-0. Next to hit, Julio Rodriguez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and oh. see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next yeah. night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox in that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Bernanski. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things. That, a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Back inside Fenway Park, an outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, this group of hitters, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. And it's fouled away. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for them at times. Next offering misses. Now two and two. Gold strike three of the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. So up next, Ricky Henderson. Up the middle. Slings to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good arm side run to that oh. same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. On the ground, Lindor gathers and throws to first. And okay. Back here in Boston, here's Mike Trout. The pitch. Late right, with the yeah, swing yeah, there. Yeah. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up hard. the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with oh. first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. One, two. Late on that fastball. Next one nope. just misses. Oh. Two and two. 
That one is absolutely belted. Hunter going back on it. Back some more. And out of here. He deposits that one into the monster seats. Probably will, man. Digging in. Chase up. They say you went. You oh, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Swing and a miss. And it's not again, two. The pitch. And delivers outside. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Now, fly ball to right center. Hunter makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Machado. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Now a check swing at the 1-1. Look down to first. That's a swing according to umpire Woody Keller. That one misses. Now two balls and a strike. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses across the first. Machado out of the play. Nice. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the catcher, Jorge Posada. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. That one hit to right. Trout sizing it up. Pulls it in on the run. And that is the third out. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Gibson back to work. He was late there. Strike one. And that one is inside ball one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. That's inside. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. That one at 101. 3-2 now. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Murakami, batting with one down, takes a strike. Pitch in the dirt, and it's a ball and a strike. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Goes down looking. Here's Trout, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Swings and misses. It's 0 and 1. And that skips in the dirt. Two outs. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Just missed. Swing and a miss, and he is down on. Back in Boston, and now Francisco Lindor. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Swings here and blasts one left field and brings it in at the wall. Now it's the shortstop, Ozzie Smith. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Number 78. Next pitch has popped up. Murakami settles underneath it. He makes the catch. And there's two down. Man at first. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. 
That misses the zone, and that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Trout makes the grab, and that'll end the end. Back here at Fenway, ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. And first offering bad. is fouled off. <clears throat> the wind of the pitch. Oh, God. Man, he is just dialed in Fucking right now. Really Every pitch thrown with so much ever. conviction. Got him swinging. So digging in, Tory Hunter. Pitch hitter coming on. Rafael Devers looking to start something with one gun in there for strike one good eye right there kicks and fires swing and a miss and it's one and two and that's the strikeout looking Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Lindor in the box now. No balls and a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Welcome back. Now the youngster Juan Soto. And the pitch. All one, no strikes. Swung on, belted. That one back there. And that is gone. Juan Soto goes deep. And they boost their lead. I don't even know. Like, the people that are good at this game are just, like, insanely good at this game. It's, like, ridiculous. How do you know? Where do you look? Maybe PlayStation.
Kendrick Jr. I feel like you should use Derek Jeter over Bryce Harper. He's okay. I mean, Derek Jeter is probably better. It's a collection reward. Four switch hitters. <laughs>
Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the legends going up against the Knights. Stepping in is the speedy Ricky Henderson. The center fielder, Ricky. The pitch. Henderson. And that one hammered. That's back there. Gone! That one felt good. Just like that, they move in front. It's one nothing. Oh, so much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your dugout. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Problem is, I didn't tell him to go right down the middle. Like, I don't know why. Swings and misses at the pitch no off the One plate. Strike. Owen oh, two as he waves at that one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And he chases that one, and there's one down. Now it's the DH, Munitaka Murakami. Yeah. That one's in there, 0 and 1. To say Bob Gibson's season in 1968 was outstanding is an understatement. His ERA that year was 1.12. Yeah, That's so dominant, it doesn't even seem possible. The 0 2. That one down the line, oh. and it goes just foul. Gibson won the Triple Crown that year in the National League. He was just absolutely untouchable. Hitters had a hard time sleeping the night before his starts. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And here is Matt Chapman. Capitalized on a pitch right down the middle. And it was right down the middle. Swings through that one. Oh, one. Depending on who you <laughs> ask, Let me Gibson sure either like, gets uh, the blame shit, or the credit. Right. For Major League Baseball middle. lowering the mound like, after I didn't, that I didn't name it down middle, dude. season. Like, I don't know fucking why I went down the middle. Chases a fastball there. Damn. That's like, like, what? That's why I don't like Bob Gibson anymore. It's like if you don't get perfect releases. Bounce to the left like, side. And misses. he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. <laughs> Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. <laughs> Honestly. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Mike Trout. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, and just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. No, I, Swings I and misses. Everybody else count seems even one and one. No, some this players, like for whatever reasons, they bro. seem to just face a slew of like right-handed like pitchers, swing, and their comfort right. level increased so much that they'd actually foul. prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss, this and is that so is scary, strike two. Right. Yeah, most guys struggle against the same side, whether it's left on left or right on right, and this guy's an exception. And the pitch. And they oh, put the tag on him for what? the out. Bryce Harper stands in now and watches strike one. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, throws him for strike three. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. Chapman. 
First offering misses the mark. Swing and a miss as he was late. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That misses ball, the zone, and yeah, that's ball two. And now two and two. Here's a two two. That one drifts inside. Sharp grounder, that's through for base hit. That was beast hitting ground. Yeah. Got it, cool. Runner at first. Yeah, man, every time I have two strikes at B-Swing or 0-1 at B-Swing. Told you, bro. <laughs> like, I've been just, just literally <laughs> destroying people in, uh, yeah, you can't even get him in fucking... That's two away. That Next to him, Mark like the McGuire. Rally, like, and ago. that one just misses a ball and no strikes. Like you get the bit behind with that oh, swing. It's strike one. And one and two. Yeah, just like it lost at the plate this first A.B. Some of those swings aren't even close. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Back here in Boston, top of the second, Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. You know, it's no surprise that Jazz Chisholm Jr. is good at baseball. His grandmother, Patricia Coakley, actually played short. This one is smashed down the right field line. Way back there. Fair and gone. The same guy hit a home a run towering run. home run. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2 0. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? A really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Here's Ronald Acuna yeah, Jr. Yeah. at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. I'm just seeing this again. And strike two. No two ball. really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. Carlos Delgado mm -hmm. now at the plate. First what offering misses there, badly for ball one. Hopefully the other guy can't pitch either. And a big swing one and a miss. One. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very yeah. often against a guy like this. They say he went. One, two. Swings and misses struck him out. Yasmani Grandal up to here. Just don't throw fastballs to that guy. Yeah. Shot back to the mouth, and he gloves it. That ends the frame. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the switch inning power threat, Cattell Marte. And a pitch. That first offering is fouled off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Next offering is downstairs. Oh, come on. Next man. offering is fouled back. It's a pitch. I'm trying to hit that fastball. Oh, right side. Wow. Here's the tag, and he's out. Here's a speed threat, Sammy Sosa. Oh, that got him. <laughs> no chance for a play, and let's hope the righty's not hurt on the mound. Yo, he killed him. He hit him in the How is he not hurt, dude? <laughs> 
catcher. I'm gonna watch that again. Watch the replay of that. Yeah, I'm watching the replay. Yeah. Damn, you hit him right in the fucking. Where'd you hit him? Bro, you hit him in the back. <laughs> and he literally just like kind of shrugged it off. That's wild. That's hilarious. No, if you hit him in the head, sometimes they take him out, dude. You'll see, like, bro, they, they like, uh, maybe the other game was them, but I know, I've seen dudes have to get to. The first with one gone, Jonah Heim digs uh, in now. Let's keep it going. <laughs> and a swing and a miss. And it's even up. Oh. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential what? threat right here wow. on the hitter side. So nice job cool. of laying off that pitch. Chapman makes the grab. Two down. Like nice with Jonah Hines. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. Pitch misses oh. inside, oh. and it's one to zero. Oh. That's inside. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Yeah, is it? Did that look glitch to you, bro? Yeah, what the fuck was yeah, that? Yeah, the right hander deals towards first. Diving stop at first. Onto the pitcher. It's there, and that's a great play. <laughs> of the third inning now the left fielder Alex Verdugo Verdugo former second round pick by the Dodgers back in 2014 and Chris I think one of the things that people always focus oh on with him he was the centerpiece to that Mookie Betts trade between the Dodgers yeah, and the Red Sox next pitch inside and that is ball one, and one yeah and many people would say that's a ton of pressure to go into a place like boston with those shoes no, to fill and you know so what he went in there saying he was going to be himself Two and, one. and put up some pretty good numbers and there's a foul ball now all leave it up ground ball right side and he's out on the tag. Good fade and sinking action of that, that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Ricky Henderson, the next to hit. Swing and a miss as he was late oh, that time. Swing and a miss. No that is strike okay. two. And the righty deals. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Francisco Lindor. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Going one. No ball. One strike. Yeah, because the two fucking shots. Not close with that one, but he gets him to go after it. Right. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Going oh, two now. And down on strikes he goes. And good work shit, there bro. as he gets a one two. Fucking two home runs. As we go to the last of the third. Now here is Francisco Lindor. Gibson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. And now it's that's even ball, up. Ah. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. <laughs> he has a tendency to chase out of the zone. And that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Like, I shouldn't be swinging. The one-two. Yeah. 
And a ball evens the count. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You could tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Next one misses, and the count's full. Of the pitch. Oh shit! I didn't think I was gonna get that one, dude. Oh my god, I was so early. Oh, this guy's mad. Right here, kick steals. Fly ball down the line. Acuna on the run. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Here comes a pitch. Ah! Oh. miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now batting. That's like, that's like a whole trap. innings worth. Over one so far. That's whole innings worth. So. And he oh, swings God. and misses at the initial offering. Good and that's right. in for a strike. Let's go all over the place. Next pitch oh. just misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. You should really be B swinging all the time, bro. Until you start getting B swings down, then A swing. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. <laughs> and now here is oh, Harper. No. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Certainly, you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment. Game five of the National League Championship Series in 2022. Oh, really? That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them. Well, got to pause on that oh, thought wow. as that'll do it for the oh, inning. My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Inside Fenway Park, start of the fourth. Here's a big power threat. Mooded nah, down. man, there's no way he did that. That's right, dude. I made him have a 12 pitch at bat with like an 82 at overall batter. <laughs> 13, yeah. So, I gotta do that again. <laughs> we gotta get Bob Gibson out, and I think we'll fare well. Yeah, see, look, Bob Gibson's got a 6 ERA for me, bro. Wow, you know what's crazy? You know what that ERA means, bro? He hits a lot of home runs because, like, my whip is actually really good. Like, I don't give up a lot of walks and hits per inning pitch, but I give up a lot of runs. So, so when I do give up hits, they're, like, really big hits. Um, I got a, uh, Mark Pryor is my best pitcher, honestly, especially when I have him boosted with my, like, game theme shit. My pitch is... Uh, yeah, my, my games are like the complete opposite. I can barely have any games that are decided by one run. I'm getting blown out. I'm blowing people out. Then there's games that are close for a while, and then all of a sudden the game just gets just opened up. It's weird. That other game, that the, that message the guy, that was close. Oh, dude, they're probably griefing us like pretty hard right now, dude. I didn't even notice that until just now when you said that. They're gonna start it up at one. Watch. Taka Murakami. <laughs> what about the fans? I told you, bro. Would wow, they let you they're fucking have with it us, from time man. to time. They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. Assholes, they can man. smell the a big inning or anticipate a situation I, setting itself up. Where's this animosity coming from? Oh, uh, yeah. Why, is, why are they being hated, bro? Like, what the fuck? I feel like we've been good sports. That's in for a strike at 95, and Wait. it's one and two. Is he not playing? I mean, he might not be playing. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Oh for one, he struck yeah, dude, out Yeah, they do some like weird time. shit, bro. I don't like these guys. They're being weird. <laughs> 
One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field no, and getting a to standing like ovation, playing, so even at times out. when you're not a player yeah, on their team. As long as you're, you're not winning, senior, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. In the dirt, on to first, out on the drop third strike, two gone. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. There's a strike. Oh, one. Gets the bunt down the right side, Grandal. And they tag him out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ready to go. Five right, be patient, four. bro. Here's some be, real be, power at the pitches. plate. Matt Chapman. Just because the first, you know, just be patient. See what he gives you. What the that fuck? That one ran inside, <laughs> almost got him. And now you can see he's taking right, some exception the to the location of the last guy. He likes to throw that fastball. He didn't and like the look of that so. at all, and they're having some words. Yeah, and look, this is a spot where he's just standing up for himself at the plate. It's part of the game. Maybe that pitch slipped. Maybe it didn't, but you can't blame him for having something to say about it either way. Nice. It's oh. no fun having a pitch go flying by you like that. Yeah, you try to hit the change Two up. balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swings through that one. one. Well, that's today's style of baseball really? right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop uh. at the plate. On the ground to third. Yeah, I got to fix that, And foul um, ball. Wait, what do you mean you the shadow? Eddie Deans. What does that mean? And that just misses. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if it's nice. easy. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. How did my PCI zone. end up down there, bro? How? The <laughs> He's got good stuff. Oh, oh I fucking can't. It. Off the mark there. Now one and two. One Chapman on at first. Nobody out. Got what? Swinging for the oh K. God, Chase bro. the fastball up the ladder like for strike three. Damn it, man. Really and first bad. offering is fouled off. Right Righty delivers, and that's downstairs and outside. I mean, it was against like shitty. On the ground, something. right side, four, six, three, but he beats it. Good hustle, and the inning continues. Sosa stands in here, tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Comes up empty well, on the swing, 0-2 now. Just slider, really Righty to the plate. Look out! <laughs> and it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, they went after him right there with one of his best pitches. I'm really surprised that one got away from him. Heim up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Got him! That's the third. Back here at Fenway Park, new inning getting started, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. And that one fouled off. Chris, the tools for Acuna, the one thing that jumps out for me, power, and power to all fields. I love his right center field pop, and we saw him in the All-Star game a few years ago. He looked like a left-handed hitter hitting home runs that direction. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And not just offensively, but this is a guy that has a cannon of an arm. He's thrown balls in over 100 miles per hour. He's got speed on the base paths. He can do it all. Comes a 2-2. On a line, base hit. Oh, so a man on base to start the inning. Harper throws to second, oh, but he's in there easily. 
Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. Delgado takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Runner leads away at second. Acuna at second with nobody out. Like that? The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Watch this. He wants to look. He wants to watch. I watch him strike out. That's outside. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. At the belt and fires. Runner takes off. Got him oh, swinging. Fuck, no, dude. Safe I, at I third, it's a stolen base. I was going to throw the second base. Swing and a ball popped up. Be careful. He might go. So be ready to throw the ball. Drop yeah, he's going. Love. Runner tags from third. Oh. He thought about tagging, <laughs> but heads back to third. Yeah. Here's Holy Alex Verdugo. Shit. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That's good. Verdugo. Nah, you wait any longer, he might have scored there, bro. And first offering is fouled right. off. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ah! That one misses. Ball one. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that count. And a swing and a miss. Back here at Fenway, bottom of the inning. And now it's going to be Yasmani Grandal. Yasmani Grandal. And here it comes. Pitch is in there. And it's 0-1. Well, these guys showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball. The tag, and he's out. Lindor retired. Oh, uh, man, worst case scenario. It did not work. Here's Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not Sorry. wanting anything over their heads. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing to get one. What? Looking sharp just to strike just away from five man. shutout innings. Delgado, the tag, and that's out number three. In All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ricky Henderson. That one clips the outside corner. That's strike one. Henderson measures five feet, 10 inches, 31 years old, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. So now one and two. Well, typically left fielders have the least amount of range in the outfield. So for him to take the responsibility in center field in this one, he's going to really need his corner guys to help him out in the gaps. Puts the squeeze on it. One up, one down. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Pedro Martinez on the pitch out of the pen here. He's into the game with the bases empty. Teddy, all right. <laughs> Yo, he got clapped, bro. Like, I literally got him and just got fucking destroyed by this guy. He was so good. In the next game, I mean, he got quit after like two innings, but the first guy was in Swings through that one. Oh, and one. You know, Singy, they talk about Red Sox Nation, but there is something to <laughs> that pitch, because like, the Boston Red one. Sox aren't just about Boston or Massachusetts. It's that whole New England area. So you're talking about no. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, yeah. Northern Connecticut. There's a whole segment of the country that is locked in on the Boston Red Sox pitch to pitch throughout the summer. Next offering in the dirt. It's two and two. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. 
And next is the designated hitter, Munitaka Murakami. And first offering is fouled off. The wine and yeah, the, the pitch. Play, he was just like insane, bro. He hit every single pitch. Like, Foul back our way, and that's out of play. I would throw him at his zone and still hit him. He's like, all right, dude. Next pitch is in the dirt. Gonna count one and two. Yeah, the one two oh. misses to even the count. Next pitch is popped up. Lindor under it. But it's the pitcher <laughs> that makes the play. Uh, Back here in Boston. Well, we go bottom six. <laughs> Bryce Harper to the plate. Well, Chris, what a career Bryce Harper has put together. On the cover of Sports Illustrated at the age of 16, first overall pick yeah. by the Nationals in 2010. He's won multiple MVPs, multiple All-Star appearances, and a Rookie of the Year to boot. Bryce Harper has turned out to be. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Off the wall, keep going. Uh, Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Chapman. Now in the box. Oh, comes boy. up empty with a swing there. Next offering oh, is down low. The pitch. Chapman gets a piece there. Next pitch downstairs, two and two. Kicks and fires. And this is inside. <laughs> Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's two down. And now the DH, Mark McGuire. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Boom, that's cheddar, baby. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit. And that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS. Well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Marte at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Go, 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 go. Right go. Center. Send and him. it's into the gap. Send McGuire. No, around no, no, second, no, no. headed no, for no, third. No, no, no. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. Damn, it's man. a two out double. Second and third now. <laughs> Everything that came hard. together perfectly for Fuck. him right there. Pretty much just a textbook right, double into the gap. Here, and same when same you same. can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Two outs. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Deal two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. McGuire on third. Marte on at second with two down. Oh, got him swinging. Huge strike out there. Back now at Fenway. Top of inning number seven. And here is Matt Chapman. Bro, what was that, man? The right hander well, yeah, back to work. You can't be, bro. You can't be all thinking you're going to get a hit. First pitch hit. swinging. No One strike. Chapman gets a piece there. 
But that was so far out of his lane. 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a miss struck him out. So up next, Jazz Chisholm Jr. He's already homered in this game. They say you win. Going one. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Oh, one. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that three. one. Been a solid inning so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Yeah. It's an immaculate <laughs> inning. <laughs> I mean, you just get strikeout points, but... Bottom of the seventh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Hine. Point six four ERA with Bob Gibson. Wow, it's crazy. I'd be so fucked, man. I would honestly be really upset if they did that. They probably are, man. Yeah, you could afford them. I report them. I reported them. The toxic play. Gibson back to work. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. That one's in there. Oh, and two now. Started to swing, held up. Man, he's been really good. About to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. 100 pitches. And the righty deals. Back foot slider struck him out. Yasmani Grandal getting ready to hit one for two. Your attention, please. Now, Pitcher, Yenier, Kamal. Right handed reliever. Strike two. It's been tough for the right offense here. so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, one. Next offering is fouled back. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then one, by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Two down, nobody on. Battling here as he fouls it away. Yeah, I think he just remembered that. He's like, what the fuck? He's fucking... And a pitch. That's a little oh. bit low. <laughs> My 
Right drive. Lindor on the first. Lindor retire. That's the inning. They have more hits than him, too. Back here at Fenway. And here's the first baseman, Carlos Delgado. Yeah. And a pitch. A swing and a miss. <laughs> no and one that's strike one. Swings and misses. Oh, no balls, two strikes. So you call him a shit pitcher, but we have yet to score a run against Left hand hitter so. waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. First out in the top of the eighth. And here's the catcher, yeah. Yasmani Grandal. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire oh. way. And now the count is one, even. One. And that one missing one. low. <coughs> Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Alex Verdugo will hit next. And the first offering is fouled off. Verdugo's not bad. I think I haven't. There's a swing and a drive. I literally go. And out of here. He sends it out of here, and they add a run. It's 3 nothing. And now, Ricky Henderson. He's already homered here in this one. There's a strike. It's 0-1. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Yeah. Quickly down 0-2 in the count. In place, I think so you got to choke up a little bit, spread out the feet. You don't know what the velocity is. Wow, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Back in Boston. And now the center fielder, Mike Trout. Hater back to work, and that's in for a strike. Well, it's critical right here oh, that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Chases that one out of the zone. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Here's Harper now. Almost drove one out of here last time up, wide out to the warning track. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Well struck left field. Verdugo going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. That's crazy. Two outs, base is empty. Matt Chapman right? like, now what? on the plate. I, I understand, dude. got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes ready to make a play if you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead it should be a w and there's the strike good eye on that spot Next pitch inside and a count two and one. Righty delivers and a foul ball. Next offering upstairs. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. The 
pitch. And a foul oh, ball, he stays man. alive. Bro, Pay you really pitch. Had it. Struck him out real. Dude, we go to the ninth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco oh. Lindor. Martinez back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. That one pulled foul. Here's the 0 2. The punch out there, one away. Munitaka Murakami digs in down. First pitch just misses. Good eye right there. 2 0 count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. Next offering misses, and it's 3 0. That one the other way, and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Yeah, nice job nice. of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, yeah. hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Sosa racing, makes the catch. Man at first. Now it's the second baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Fair ball. Lead runner around second. The throw in. Chisholm hung up in a rundown now. Oh. And they almost hey. caught him, but he's back in time. Hey. The Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Throw to second, great jump. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Runner on the goal again. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Mark McGuire. A line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Smith, the tall righty, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, and occasionally uses a forkball. And takes low for ball one. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Pitch misses inside. <laughs> it's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. The pitch. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you'd love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Nasty fourth ball for strike three. Sosa at the plate with two away, swings through that one. That misses the zone. One ball, one strike. And there's a the ball. That one misses, and now three and one. Yeah, the right-hander deals. 
And it's filled up. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. A 4 nothing shutout in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire... Baseball fans and welcome. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Cleveland taking on New Jersey. <clears throat> now, Jerry Hairston Jr. The wine of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off.
standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And away we go this afternoon. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. Line drive. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And the leadoff man aboard. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So the tough ball. to get the barrel to anything in there. Yandy Diaz in the box lays off for ball one. Raleigh has a beat on it. And there's one away. Austin Wells, the next to hit. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no play. He's going. He's Runner going. on the go. Pitch is low. Lau caught in a rundown now. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Lined into right. Dives for it, but it gets down for a knock. Wells makes the turn at second. Cut off, throw to third. Here's the tag. They get him, and that's the inning. Bottom of the first, leading off, Jerry Hairston Jr. There's the strike. That misses, and the count is one and one. And it falls. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out. And it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Puts it away for the out. Here's the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that one almost got him. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. The count two and one. Pulls that one foul. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Trying to stay out of a double play here. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for a second. This one in the air center field. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Julio Rodriguez will hit next. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Off the mark there. And it's a ball and a strike. Swings through that one for strike two. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. Ah, threw it by him. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Jose Trevino. And here it comes. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Hauls it in for the out. Here's Kike Hernandez. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value 
in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Young with the throw to first. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And fouled off. Strike two. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Tosses to first, and that is that. Back here in San Francisco, here's the second baseman, Bill Mazeroski. And he steps off. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. There's a strike. Got it by him for the K. So digging in, Tyler Soderstrom. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Lifted in the air, out to left. Pilar under it, hauls it in for the out. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Check swing, went around. Slider right there. To the left side, but it is well foul. That hits the dirt. One and two to count. Ground ball, left side. Over to Cooper. That ends the inning. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Brian Abreu comes on now. And we all know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And he deals. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. One, two now. In the dirt. In plenty of time. The first leadoff hitter gone in the third. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. Kevin Pilar swings through it for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Swing and a miss. That's his strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Now at the plate, Alex Call. In there for strike one. And that one fouled off. And he'll two. All one. Top of the third, no score. Call. Checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. Eric Summers Gill with the call. At the belt and fires. This one popped up. Abreu settles under it and makes the catch. Back here at Oracle Park, and now Cal Raleigh. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. 
And he grounds one to the right side. Lau sends it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Ty France, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. That one is absolutely belted. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Hairston, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. Called strike right there. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Call, ranging to his right, and that'll do it. Out of the fourth, and now it's Brandon Lau. Abreu back to work. They say it went. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Runner takes off for third. Trying to move him over here. Hairston fires to first on the run. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Well, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. And it's even up. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel. To short, could be two. Row not in time. The infield single loads the bases. Uh, Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Hairston makes the catch, and there's one gone. Man, it's so frustrating. You got a couple of runners on. You want to try to drive in at least one run. Maybe you get a little too big with the swing. Pops out right there, and I tell you what, nobody's more frustrated with that at bat than him. in and excellent work to corral that one could have been dangerous call the runner at third Lau on second Diaz over at first with one away at the dish looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot anything but the inning inning double play boot and ball one hitter's got some good opposite field power what I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield. Oh, and a great stop to first. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. The tag, and they get it out. But two runs come in on the play. Here's the shortstop at the play. Enrique Hernandez. He's over one. And that is cut on and miss. And that's strike one. That one missed. Two outs with a runner at third. The next pitch misses and a count two and one. And down on strike. And welcome back. Bottom four. And now the shortstop, Michael Young. And the right hander back to work. Swings through that one out in front that time. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The 0-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Swing and a ball popped up. Hernandez makes the grab. And there's one away. And now the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. In the first pitch, misses for ball one.
your attention, please. Swing and a miss. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Over to Cooper. Now only one out remaining. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Rodriguez swings through it for strike one. That one finds the zone. 0 oh and 2. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Next pitch is popped up. And that'll do it. 2 nothing. your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB. Ready to go? Now it's the shortstop, Jerry Hairston Jr. The pitch. Oh. That one off the mark, and that's how this game gets started. Swing and a miss, and a count one and one. The pitch. A healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. The wind, the kick, and the one two. Mazeroski. One out in the top of the first. And now here is Harold Baines. Obviously, a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Going along. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup. And I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. And a swing and a miss. Rips that one to right. And there's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Trevor Story swings through it for strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Ken Griffey Jr. getting ready to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Griffey was an instant sensation when he burst out of the major league scene back in 1989. A sweet swinging 19 year old kid and he got to play alongside his dad. He was a special player. And that one is inside. And in his rookie year, it was already clear that Ken Griffey Jr. was a generational talent. Bonafide five-tool player. And every one of those five tools was elite. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Lau at the plate. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Rodriguez on the move, heading back, back some more. Pulls it in on the one.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. Down the third baseman, Jerry Hairston Jr. The why to kick the pitch. Base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. <clears throat> Waste no time there. Challenge him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Now the batter now, Michael Young. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Hairston, the board here at first with nobody out. Swing and a ball popped up. He's under it. Squeezes it. And there's one down. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Ken Griffey Jr. First pitch, and he just misses. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. And the batter now, Julio Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. And, and downstairs. Here's a 1-1. Late that time, and it's strike two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just to... Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Back here at the ballpark, top of the second. Here's the power hitting catcher, Mike Napoli. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Now a screamer into the outfield. Rodriguez pulls it in, one away. And now the first baseman, Keith Hernandez. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Zach Britton. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. Tosses the first, and that quickly, two away. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Singy, you look at Britton. He's got that nasty sinker, and he has made multiple all-star teams. He's been one of the better relievers in baseball. Yeah, very difficult to square off. He's just And he's got it in right field for the third out, so that'll do it. Bottom of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Bill Mazeroski. The second baseman. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Next offering is in for a strike. Struck him out looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. And here is Tyler Soderstrom. Swings through that one. 0-1. And that chance handled in plenty of time to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Oscar Hernandez in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Gonna count one and two. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. to again junior going back back some more climbs the ladder and makes the catch back 
back here in San Francisco. Top half of the third inning. Stepping in, Justin Turner. Felix Bautista gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. And a pitch. Good eye right there. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The 2-2. Two -two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. And the batter will be the shortstop. Jerry Hairston Jr. Base hit, center field. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's the ball. Throw hey. safe. Right side, hard hit. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's Trevor Story. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Righty to the plate. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. This one in the dirt. That's out number three. Set for the bottom of the third. And now the switch hitting catcher, Cal Raleigh. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. 1-1. One, one. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. Strike two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Nowhere close, and that's ball one. Napoli down to first with it. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. At the play, Ty France. First pitch, just misses. Swing and a miss, strike one. Swings and misses, one and two. In the air, out to center. Griffey gets under it. And it's caught for the out. So the batting order turns over. Here's the third baseman, Jerry Hairston Jr. Foul ball there. The 0-1. Hairston. Throw off line, he's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Time asked for it the plate, and he gets it. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Young up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Hairston off of first with two away. Swing, and he breaks his bat. Fires over to Hernandez. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back here at Oracle Park as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Ken Griffey Jr. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. The pitch. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. Runner leads away at second. 
That one inside. Two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Yeah. Tosses to first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. And first offering is fouled off. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning. And that forced teams to rethink their strategy at extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error. And boo, to your dismay, uh -huh. not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning. But for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. One, two now. And another ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Next one misses, and it's a full count. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. To the right side takes it to the bag that's one here's the catcher Mike Napoli he's over one and he swings and misses at the initial offering and that one just missed off the outside edge all tied up here in extra innings in the air, out towards right center. Racing makes the catch. Bottom of the fourth, and now Ken Griffey Jr. We talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And here it comes. Bunting, but that's a foul ball. And now the lefty. Squares to bunt, but that rolls foul. The 2 And a good eye there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Man at second. Got him. One out. Julio Rodriguez digs in now. He was a strikeout victim his first time. There's a strike. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. The 0-2. That misses off the outside edge. It's a good take. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Yastrzemski moving under it. <sighs> makes the catch. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Mazeroski swings through it for strike one. Next pitch inside, and it's one and one. And a foul ball. All tied up and here in extra innings. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Man on second, two down. Got him! And good work there. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now running at second base, number seven. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth Rocky. inning. And here's the first baseman, Keith Hernandez. And time is called for a mound visit now. Big moment in this game, so they'll talk it over. And
and time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. And from Valdez into the game. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Here comes a pinch. That misses the zone. 1-0. and oh. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And the leadoff man aboard. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Go ahead, run on base. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And first offering is fouled off. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Oh, great stop. Over to first, and they get the out. So two in scoring position with one out. Here's Turner now. Struck out swinging his first time. Just missed. Second and third here. One away. And a foul ball. And a 1-1. One -one. And that's downstairs and outside. Line drive. That's a fair ball inside third. One runs in. Hernandez to second. He pulls into second as they take the lead. Two runs come in. So the lineup flips over. And now the shortstop, Jerry Hairston Jr. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. The 1 0. Good eye right there. Chris Fromber Valdez has turned into one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. He's got that power sinker and the power cologne. And the power curveball as well. Just a joy to watch him pitch. It seems like he's been around a long time. Kind of an old soul, boob. That one fouled off. Two and two. And a pitch. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And it drops in. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. The tag gets him, and it's a double play. To... We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now Tyler Soderstrom. Yeah, Buck was named manager of the year of the Eastern League for the Bowie Bay Sox back in 2019. And first offering is fouled off. Tying run at the plate, and it's fouled away. The 0-2. Yastrzemski under it. Makes the grab. And a quick out number one. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He flied out to the warning track in his first trip. And there's the strike. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Ball one there. One one now. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes two gone so it's their last chance in this one and now the catcher comes up to him Cal Raleigh flips the corner strike one that was just paint on the first pitch fastball in the dirt the tag and that's the ball game a well, low scoring ball game in this one two nothing game few errors pretty clean that's kind of what you want to see in terms of defense and pitching a couple of runs was all it took to get the w today two nothing your final here in this one for chris singleton and our entire